Hey guys, it's time for the Booktubeathon, and I wanted to upload my TBR for the week for you. Um, there are seven challenges, and I will be trying, though not expecting, uh, to complete them all. So, <laughs> uh, we will go through the challenges one by one. The first is to pick a book with blue on the cover. For this, I am picking Otis Frampton's Oddly Normal. This is a graphic novel about a little girl who is half-witch, and she wishes that her parents would just disappear. Um, when she wishes that, it actually happens, and she has to deal with the consequences of it and try to find them. Uh, the next challenge is to pick a book by an, written by an author who has the same first letter of their last name as you do. Uh, my last name starts with R. So I picked uh, We the Living by Ayn Rand. This is the only <laughs> book with the same last name and the author's last name as mine, um, which is a little surprising to me. Um, this is the only book by Rand that I haven't read. It's supposed to be almost autobiographical um, in that all of the circumstances that the, that the main character is experiencing are supposed to kind of be vaguely based off of her life. Then the next challenge is to read someone else's favorite book. Um, I will link down below Maya Reed's top 10 favorite books, and this was on her list. This is Kitchen by uh, Yoshimoto, and it is supposed to be kind of a, a book that captures the feeling of home. That's how Maya puts it, and I like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading it. It's extremely short. Read the last book you acquired. Um, when I went to go purchase that, I saw Rachel Pollock's Unquenchable Fire. Um, and this sounds really interesting. Uh, it's supposed to take, it says it takes place in an America where miraculous is part of the course, magic and myths are real. Um, and then it kind of goes into some interesting stuff that happens to the main character. And it's supposed to be kind of surrealist. I have read the first 20 pages of this and it is different. Um, so I'm looking forward to finishing it. Um, challenge five is to read a book without letting go of it. For that challenge, I picked Captain Marvel. This is volume two, Stay Fly. Um, this is volume two in the most recent run. I haven't read her 2012 run, um, but I'm getting caught up on this while those are on their way to me. The sixth challenge is to read a book that you really want to read. Um, <laughs> so this is this is Lega uh, by Nick Abadziz, um, and it is about the um, dog Leica who was sent into space by the Russians during the space race. Um, this is actually a graphic novel version. It has a lot of text in it, um, but I like the contrast, and so I will be reading that. And the final challenge is to read seven books. Um, in order to do that, I'm actually going to finish the audiobook that I am listening to right now. Um, I'm listening to The Stars Change. Uh, it's by Mary Ann Moharaj, and it is um, an interesting kind of book. It is about a world in which humans and a variety of various uh, kind of crazy aliens live together, and they are kind of dealing with this xenophobic emergency on their planet. It also has some interesting kind of approaches to sexuality and um, racism and all of those kind of really interesting topics that I think sci-fi handles so interestingly. Um, so I will finish that and that would be seven books. Um, if you have read any of these, let me know. Link me to your booktubeathon TBRs or to ones that you think are interesting and I will talk to you later. Bye.